Today I'm going to tell you how you can identify which hand is holding you back. So if you're having trouble building hand sync or building speed, then you need to know where the problem is. So it's, it might be one of your hands or both of your hands that are holding you back. Um, but the best way to do that is to look at whatever lick you're working on. And if you're working on a picking lick and you've been trying the normal methods of you know slowing down or speeding up, first you need to know what hand is actually having the most trouble here because maybe you'll find that your picking can actually cope with that lick at that tempo and it might be your fretting hand that can't cope. So let's say you're working on this lick. What you want to do is you want to test if your fretting hand can actually do that at that tempo. So minimize the picking so you're picking hardly at all and just do as much legato as you can. Yeah, because you need to know if your hand can do that. And if your fretting hand is okay at that tempo and it's keeping time, then it probably is your picking. But if your fretting hand cannot do it and it keeps falling apart under pressure, then it's your fretting hand. Yeah, It might still be your picking, but until we sort the fretting hand out first and know that it's got its stuff together, you can't move on. right? So we need to make sure that both elements here can do their job at that particular tempo and it's not a timing issue with the fretting hand or a stamina issue or something like that. So that's what, how we first test that. So whatever lick you're playing, um, first test it out with the fretting hand. Make sure it can actually do that at that tempo uh, for several repetitions without falling apart and not without really struggling to keep up with the tempo. If it's really struggling to keep up with the tempo, the chances are it is a stamina issue as well and when you're just going for it with both hands you're not taking any attention you're not paying any attention to this hand and the fact that it's more tired than you realize okay so when you isolate the fretting hand you realize how much work it's doing and you, you can really feel the lactic acid and you can kind of know where you're at with the fretting hand okay uh, so that's you want to do that first to make sure it's not that one and then if that's okay then start looking at this one is this one the problem right but don't move on to looking at the picking hand until you know that this one is not the problem Okay, so that's it for that episode and I'll see you next week.